In the first video of this series, we demonstrated how to separate SecureCRT's configuration folder into two separate folders, one in which your common configuration settings are stored and another one in which your personal data is stored. We also demonstrated how to move your non-personal configuration folder to a cloud-synchronized or other network storage location. Once you have your non-personal configuration folder in a cloud-synchronized location and your personal configuration data in a secure local folder, you'll want to know how you can either get this working for your team or how to set up your home or portable computer if you're on your own. If you're sharing amongst a team, you or your team lead have probably chosen to store common configuration settings in a network folder on your local area network. Your team may also have a designated splitter, someone who's solely responsible for maintaining the common, non-personal config settings. In many situations, the files and folders in this location should be secured through file system access controls so that individual team members don't accidentally delete sessions or make other unauthorized changes to the shared configuration. Each individual points their own secure CRT non-personal config folder to the team's designated share location, probably a network share. Each individual points their own secure CRT personal config folder to their private location on their own machine for storing their own personal settings. As a best practice, don't save passwords. If you choose to save passwords anyway, make sure you choose a location for your personal config that is adequately secured against unauthorized access. If you are a team lead and you want to administratively prevent users from storing passwords or even usernames, please contact our support team for more details. For your individual secure CRT use, you probably have chosen a cloud-synchronized storage location that you can share among two separate machines on which you've installed secure CRT. As a best practice, you've likely stored your personal configuration in a folder that's local to your machine and adequately secured through access controls and file system permissions preventing unauthorized access to the underlying files. For other machines running Secure CRT to access your non-personal config, set the configuration folder to point to the local folder location that synchronizes with your cloud storage. It's somewhat more challenging to share the personal config among separate machines running Secure CRT. Even if you don't save passwords, you may not feel comfortable with copying the personal configuration files to the other machine on which it's needed. In which case, if you only have a small number of saved sessions, you may want to manually resave personal configuration data as it's needed. For instance, each time you connect to a host for which the personal data hasn't yet been saved. If you have a large number of sessions and you need to transfer your personal configuration settings to another machine, one option would be to copy the personal config folder and its contents to a USB drive, sneaker net it over to the other computer, and then copy the personal data from the USB drive to the personal config folder location for secure CRT running on the other computer. The next video in this series will explain how to revert back to a single configuration folder.